Hey everyone, Nerdy Noob here with another unboxing video. Uh, today I'm going to be unboxing the 2015 July Nerd Block Classic. I think this is for July. I'm pretty sure because they ship in the middle of the month. So the Nerd Block, whoa, the Nerd Block Classic ships in the middle of the month along with the Junior Boxes and the Comic Block and then I believe the Arcade Block and the Horror block ship at the end of the month, so I'm gonna go with Nerdball Classic. Um, I don't know what the theme of this box is, but I'm still excited. Um, actually, hopefully it's better than the last two boxes, because I think the first box I got was an anime box, which I'm not into anime, and then last month, I believe it was like a London box that had a bunch of like random London things that I wasn't a huge fan of either. So I think I'm 0 for 2 right now with the Nerd Block Classic if I remember correctly. If you want pricing information, feel free to check out the details below. And we are just going to go ahead and cut this bad boy open. Those are my own sound effects because I don't want to put real music in because um, I don't want to get flagged for copyright infringement. So, all right. <laughs> Once you open your box, this is what you're gonna see. I'm interested to see what the theme is because I see like a Buffy the Vampire item and then I also see an Iron Man. So it's weird. It's a weird combo. All right. So first item is a Titans vinyl figurine. It's a 4.5 inch one and it's of Buffy the Vampire Slayer Spike. On the back of this, it kind of like says what these things do, and it says uh, accessory, oversized head, articulated head action. I guess the head rotates. Posable arms. Uh, this guy's creepy looking. There's three different ones that you can get: Angel, Buffy, or Spike. I have never seen this show, so I don't know anything about it or this guy. All right, the next item is, ooh, I'm excited. This is a Pocket Pop keychain. So this is uh, made by Funko, and they're like little mini, um, is this a bobblehead? I don't think it's a bobblehead. That would be kind of terrible. I feel like the head wouldn't stay on if it was a bobblehead. Anyways, I'm sorry. It, it's a Pocket Pop keychain of Iron Man from the Avengers. And I'm gonna open him up because I'm totally going to use him. OMG. Funny story, I'm collecting the Funko um, Avengers Age of Ultron bobbleheads, which by the way, for those of you who watched that video, went to Target, started lifting up all the boxes to see if I could find one of those super heavy, and this one is super, super heavy, so I'm thinking it's the Hulkbuster, which would almost com complete my collection. The one <laughs> thing that I'm missing right now is the Iron Man blasting off, and so funny that that's the one I'm missing because of course, this keychain, which actually might be a bobblehead. I think it might be a bobblehead, which seems kind of sketch for a keychain. But this is of Iron Man blasting off. Okay, let's see if you can see this. So I don't know if you can see, ugh, it's because it's his blast off hands are white. So coming out of his hands are like the little like the white like things. So this is a pocket pop of Iron Man blasting off, which is the one mystery figurine that I'm going to be missing if this is the Hulkbuster. So, how ironic that is. Huh. Alright, the next item is a... Oh, let's do this one. I don't understand what this box, what the theme of this box is. This is a Transformers Dark of the Moon Dangler. This looks like something you get from Target in the section near the checkout section. Whoa. This is kind of neat. Okay, let's see. I don't know who I got, but he looks like a bad guy because he's got red eyes, and I'm pretty sure the bad guys have red eyes. So these are actually pretty cool. Um, it's very detailed, actually, for what it is. I think it's made out of, like, plastic or vinyl or something. Oh, this smells terrible, too. It smells like my childhood. This is what all the toys used to smell like. Oh, ugh. All right, and it looks like there's a two, four, six, eight that you can collect. All right, now let's do the shirt. So, got a men's medium. This is what the shirt design looks like. Sweep of the leg, you fools. I don't know where this is from. Cobra. Cobra. It's of a cobra. 
and it says sweep of the leg you fools with my best snake voice uh, then we have a a Ghostbusters wallet oh neat oh okay this reminds me of a wallet that I got from Loot Crate. It was like a Simpsons wallet that was made out of some kind of recyclable material and it smelled awful, like awful. I couldn't even take it out of the package. This is actually, it looks like it's made out of the same material but it doesn't smell as bad. It's a lightweight but durable Tyvek wallet. It's near indestructible. I'm not gonna try to destruct it. But this is cool, this is a cool little wallet. So you got the Ghostbusters emblem. And then in the middle, I don't know if you can tell, there's like designs. It has all the ghosts and the Ghostbusters and then the Marshmallow Man. Cool. It's a neat item. A neat packaging too. Alright. And the last item that we have is a Mad Max Fury Road comic book. It's a Nerd Block exclusive. It's a very nice um, quality comic book almost like an actual like book book I'm so confused actually I'm getting confused now so this is a nerd block this is a nerd block box and then you open up the comic book and again this is a nerd block classic too it or I'm sorry it's a nerd block exclusive and you open it up and then there's an ad for loot crate what's that about I wonder if loot crate secretly owns nerd block wow isn't that weird? It's a little bit weird to me. Um, this is your typical comic book. Um, in this one there's a lot of violence and things, so I would say this is definitely for adults. Graphic content. Yes, it is. Um, $4.99 price point if you were to actually buy this. I don't know if anyone would actually pay $4.99 for this, but um, I didn't see Mad Max. I heard it was a good movie. I heard that Charlize Theron uh, was like the best part of that movie, but I don't know. All right, and then you have your postcard that tells you everything that's in it. Let's see. Um, I guess the theme was humanity's last hope. That's such an odd theme. Um, the certified product of the month is the Buffy vinyl figurine. I wonder if everyone got Spike because he's the one that's on the postcard. Uh, and then you had the Cobra's motto. So here's the thing about nerd block shirts. They always make them based off of things, but they don't actually ever use, they never use like the real names for copyright reasons, I think. So I don't really know what this is from. Something with a Cobra, maybe like Indiana Jones or something. I don't know. Don't take my word on that one. You had the Mad Max comic book. The, um, I guess I could show you this while we're doing it. So you had the Mad Max comic book. Here's the, uh, Cobra shirt, the vinyl figurine. Then we had the Ghostbusters wallet, the Iron Man keychain, and the Transformers dangler. So, uh, here's the sad thing about this box. Again, I think if I had connected to the theme better, I would like it a lot more. Um, this is the third box in a row that I just haven't connected with the theme. And um, I remember after the first box, I was like, oh, it can't get any worse. And then it actually got worse. And I was like, oh, so I, I wouldn't make a comment this. This box isn't bad. Uh, I think the value is actually really good. I just don't necessarily really like the items. My favorite items in this box are probably the Iron Man keychain. I actually do like the Transformers dangler can't be worth more than a couple dollars. And then I like the Ghostbusters wallet. Um, these are, I think out of this box, are probably considered the filler items, which is kind of sad. Uh, well, maybe not the Funko Pop Rocket or whatever it's called. <laughs> Pop keychain thing. Um, so yeah, I'm not a huge fan of this box. It's okay. Uh, I would, if I had to rate it, I'd probably give it, um, for me personally, I'd probably just give it a 3 out of 5 noobs. I think that I'm not into the 3 bigger items in the box, which is kind of like the value of the box. Um, but, you know, if you're into Buffy and stuff, then you must be super excited. Um, it's always nice to get a vinyl figurine. So since this box was a tad bit disappointing, I figured since I have this sitting here, and for those of you who might be watching my quest to get the entire collection of Avengers Age of Ultron um, mystery mini bobbleheads, I'm going to open this up 
and hopefully, fingers crossed, this is the Hulkbuster. I can't imagine that this isn't the Hulkbuster. It's super heavy and it's like bulging out of the box. So, dun 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 Oh yeah! Looky looky! He doesn't bobble as well as the other ones do because his head's kind of flat. But if you hit it, it works. So yes, I finally got the Hulkbuster bobblehead. Super exciting, super exciting. Um, I basically have the whole collection now, except for the Iron Man blasting off. Um, I was gonna take my chances and just buy all the boxes there, and then I realized I didn't want to waste my money at that point. So just picked out the one that was super heavy, and of course it happened to be the Hulkbuster, which is what I wanted. So that is a good way to end this video since the box was a tad bit disappointing. Um, disclaimer, if you're somehow just watching this part, this did not come in the Nerd Block Classic. This is something that I bought separately at Target. All right, so that was the 2015 July Nerd Block Classic uh, with the special um, presentation of this unboxing video right here. Um, thank you so much for watching. If you liked the video, feel free to click the like button below. If you want to see more unboxing videos, feel free to check out my channel, and you can subscribe if you'd like. And to end this video, fun fact, put bacon in your peanut butter and jelly sandwich. Poof. Mind blown.